in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed someone who has lost money you are now teaching the person and saying you know what you can start this way it is true but that person is in trouble now god gives bread to the eater and seed to the sower and everybody has hands to sow and a mouth to eat give us this day not our daily seed our daily bread i'm saying that so that when we begin to pray you lift up your hands to receive both bread and seed did you hear what I said yeah when you receive seed you now understand how to sow spiritually speaking and so on and so forth you can now know how to sow to the spirit through prayer through word study so that you have a robust life that will will gain invincibility over demons but right now you need help you need assistance the urgency in your life right now Waiting until you learn these principles pragmatically, the devil may take your life even before understanding comes. So you need bread. When you have bread for your nourishment and you have strength, then you can use your seed. Are we together now? We are here to engage the mysteries of the kingdom, connected to the results we desire. Finally, number three, why are we here tonight? We are here to witness the living God at work in the lives of God's people. We are here to witness the living God, the power of the living God at work in the lives of his people, causing many to know him and to love him more. I like this. John 2, 23. We are here to witness the power of the living God in the lives of his people. Now, when he was in Jerusalem at the Passover, in the feast day, many believed in his name why when they saw the miracles which he did they didn't just believe because there was a preacher they believed when they saw they believed when they saw they believed when they saw there are things when men see it enhances their believing it reminds them again for some maybe for the first time that there is a God that is greater than any charm there is a God that is greater than any speakings, any generational cause. There is a God that is greater than any orchestration of darkness. And it is that God we have come to reveal. And ladies and gentlemen, if this is why you are here tonight, then I welcome you in the name of Jesus Christ to an encounter that you will live to testify. I know that many are already receiving. And let me tell you the truth. I know, let me say this. I know there are several overflows here and then several others outside sometimes my heart pains me because those inside here are a minute fraction of the so many thousands of people scattered across this whole ground and then not to talk of the many more connecting online and you you don't if i had my way i want everybody to be in one place where i can see everybody to encourage you as you are seeing me but you know no matter the auditorium at least for now the size will not be able to take us but let me tell you this i'm saying that to encourage someone you may think that these manifestations is just for those who found their way in the main auditorium and you may be saying i mean maybe the basement any of the overflows or outside or maybe fine america canada can i tell you the truth the lady who was healed in one of the synoptic accounts the centurion said, I am a man under authority. You don't need to come to my house. He says, speak the word only. And Jesus said, when he looked at him, the Bible says that very hour when his servants came, you can be outside and yet be the first to be healed. Be the first to be lifted. 
that you have proximity to the man of God does not automatically, it's just a psychological consolation. Let me tell you the truth. As far as the realm of the spirit is concerned, the believer is the one who receives. Not the one close to the miracle worker. Many people were close to Jesus and they did not receive. Others were far off, but with faith in their hearts, they received. So let me bring a word of encouragement to the many thousands of people outside, those across all the overflows and those following online. Wherever you are, please hear me. I'm speaking to you by the spirit of the living God. When it's time to pray, let your hearts be enlarged, be open to receive because the God of heaven is no respecter of person. Are you ready to receive now? Please rise up on your feet. Say, Father. Father. One more time. Say, Father. Father. I, decree, I decree. And I declare. I declare. That in the name of Jesus. Jesus. Answers. Answers. To every issue of concern. I receive now. Go ahead and pray. Answers. Health answers. Destiny answers. Marital answers. Fruitfulness answers. Someone is praying in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers. I receive answers in the name of Jesus. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, exalted. I receive, I manifest your power and your wisdom till the nations see Jesus lifted up, glorified. Breathe, Lord. Hallelujah. We are going to do a very quick one right now. There are three areas of focus tonight. Number one, prophesying liberty for the various aspects of our lives. Number two, ministering deliverance to people who are oppressed. Because most of the issues you call prayer requests, 
the truth is that they are signifying the presence of spirits that may be operating for some on legal basis this is where the ministry of the blood comes that the blood sustains the unique ability to bring a separation and you will find out that with that separation many requests to be answered in a moment and then i want to take a few minutes and pray for the sick those of you who are sick or came with sick loved ones make sure you release your heart your faith to be healed right now Hopefully we'll have the time and in a few minutes, uh, now because we're hurrying up, the moment you have a testimony, I'm going to ask you to walk out very quickly. Some of you who have already received will take a few testimonies and then will enter the stage of prophetic words. That declaration is important to me because that is how many of you will return with testimonies. Not everybody is sick. Not everybody may be oppressed. Or have any kind of demonic influence of all sorts but i can be sure that everybody is tired of their current level and that they want to scale heights in the spirit and in destiny hallelujah praise the name of the lord now i want to pray for those who have experienced all kinds of satanic issues my bible says how god anointed jesus of nazareth with the holy ghost and with power many sicknesses are connected to spirits it is true there are many demonic influences plaguing families now i'm going to pray and it's going to be i will ask you in our manner here to shout the name jesus and when i do with humility of heart and the fullness of faith i like you to obey that prophetic instruction and very quickly i'd like you to bring out those who will be under the anointing now the ushers are limited please do me a favor if someone maybe you are especially you're a worker those under the anointing when i ask you to bring them out if there's someone under the anointing close to you just help to bring them out you don't have to wait for the ushers they are limited they are literally tens of thousands of people all over and there's so much they can do father in the name of jesus the son of the living god here at this miracle service you gave us authority and you gave us power over snakes scorpions and over all the powers of the enemy you gave us authority over witchcrafts altars and every kind of satanic manifestation father there are lives here there are destinies here that have been under the siege of darkness as individuals as families as businesses plaguing their health their finances and various aspects of their lives this is why your people came and lord i pray right now that as your people shout that name that is above every other name every spirit that has tied down lives that has tied down destinies it is time for you to give way ladies and gentlemen gentlemen at the count of three I want you to shout that name that is above every other name that name that defeated sin Satan hell and the grave and as you shout it let every spirit that is not the Holy Spirit of God it will clear the way and it will release your destiny now and then ushers very quickly please bring those under the anointing are you ready now thank you Jesus one my God I sense a strong anointing two Three, shout Jesus. Jesus. Help them please. Release every destiny now. Every destiny bow. Be released now. Outside, inside, yokes of darkness, curses. Let God's people go now. In the name of Jesus hallelujah my god we're still praying in the name of jesus i'm seeing hands tied i've seen this many times every hand that has been tied right now i decree and declare let the let the fire of the holy ghost bring a separation now 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 the spirit of delay whose destiny has been delayed here whose destiny is not rising here i'm seeing fire falling father let the altar of delay right now at the count of three let it be broken one two three break now 
break now. Destiny delay. Be broken now. Be broken now. Be broken now. Habalaga bakata bakata kapa. Kradeke pareke takusiata. I'm seeing a veil, a veil, a covering, stopping your glory from being seen. In the name of Jesus, I don't know who that person is. I stretch my parakatos. Help that lady, my God. In the name of Jesus, that veil that has covered your glory, I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. I tear off that veil now. Oh, 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 Bring them out. Let me speak to those outside. There is something God wants to do to those outside. Those outside, I want you to lift your hands. I stretch my hands right now. In the name that is above all names. Those at the overflow outside. At the count of three. Those outside, I want you to shout Jesus. I'm seeing altars on fire. And the Lord is telling me that these are altars of untimely death sitting on the destinies of people some of you have lost your loved ones i don't know why god is speaking to me about those outside right now i decree and declare outside at the count of three one two three shout jesus break now break now break now break now the spirits of untimely death you are under arrest by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the Holy Ghost. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Release them now. Everyone appointed unto death. I release you now. I release you now. I release you now. Shame and disfavor. In the name of Jesus, to a point where people avoid you like a plague because it's as if you are carrying bad luck. They whisper to one another and say, don't come near this person. The last time I came, I went down. I pray for you. Every negative mark upon your head that makes people to reject you. In the name of Jesus, I wipe it out tonight. 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 Hallelujah. Now, I'm seeing the Lord heal someone right now. I'm soon to begin to pray for the, the sick. This person you had fibroid years ago. You went to the hospital and they operated you and it's regrowing back again. This is a spiritual thing. I'm praying right now. This is what I see in my vision. I don't know who that person is. By the That devil manifesting as fibroid. It dies now. It dies now. It dies now. Praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the angels and the saints Sing praise Adonai From the rising of the sun
front here and those who have come out in the various overflows I speak to every spirit that has tied you down in the name of he who died and rose again this is koinonia a house that God has helped and I declare at the count of three you lose your hold on them and everything you have taken from their lives let there be a restoration at the count of three one two three go now go now go now never to return go now never to remain go now never to return their bodies are the temples of the holy spirit their destinies are immune fortified by the blood in the name of jesus christ hallelujah I want to pray for the sick just be silent I want you to listen to me I'm seeing something that looks like a white towel and I'm seeing it being laid on the heads of people not everybody these are specific people it is being laid upon and I'm wondering what is wrong and the Lord is telling me that there are destinies that have cried there are families that have cried and he's coming in as a bam in Gilead. This is not just bodily sickness. I'm seeing this being laid on people right now. Father, I'm at least with what I'm seeing, it should not be less than 12 or 13. I stretch my hands. Lord, I don't know who this, this cloth, I'm sure is a sign of succor that is coming on a bleeding and a weeping family or a man of God I stretch my hands now in the name of Jesus as I have seen in the spirit in truth let it rest on your head in truth let it rest on your head and by this prophetic mystery every and all weeping comes to an end now hallelujah please hear me if you came with a photo of someone as a prophetic contact for healing while I'm praying now I want you to connect it doesn't matter where they are it doesn't matter where they are I sense a, a mighty healing anointing right now please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle I want to pray for the sick now lay your hands lay your hands outside lay your hands everywhere lay your hands now unto the Lamb upon the throne We raise We raise For you are God and God alone your hand I want to pray for you right now I'm seeing so many people lifting up photos of loved ones it looks like there is a demonic onslaught of sickness that wants to bring mockery to the body of Christ people who love God and serve the Lord and then the devil just comes in sometimes as a devourer and the whole savings of families just go in one month in two months because they have to manage delicate health issues. Please, I want you to believe that Jesus heals. Lay your hands. Let me pray for you now. Whether it is a growth. Omnipotent Father of mercy and grace, Thou art welcome in this place. Holy Spirit, Thou art welcome in this place Holy Spirit thou art welcome in this place omnipotent father of mercy and grace thou art welcome in this place 
Father, in the name of Jesus, release your faith now. I decree and declare, you gave men the power over unclean spirits. You gave power to heal even incurable diseases. Your people are here representing themselves and representing their loved ones. In the name that is above all names and by the God who has sent us to be his channels of healing to the nations, I decree and declare right now, every spirit that is back of any infirmity, if that sickness has a name, if that sickness has a name, then I command it to bow now. Bow now. Bow now. Every blood condition be healed now in Jesus' name. Every malfunctioning heart, you receive a brand new heart now. Cancer, we call you by name and we curse you by the God of heaven. Fibroids of all kinds, you die from the bodies of God's people. Kidney failure, in the name of Jesus, let there be a miracle, a restoration of your kidneys. Liver failure, let there be a restoration of your liver. Gastrointestinal conditions, be healed right now. Reproductory conditions, be healed right now. Goiter, the Lord is showing me someone. Goiter, be healed now. Eye conditions, glaucoma, cataract, be healed now. Short sightedness, long sightedness, be healed now. Brain tumors, prostrate problems. Lumps all around your body. Be healed now. Yes. Movement of satanic objects around your body. In the name of Jesus, that movement stops this moment. Yes. Deafness, whether on one of the, of the ears or both of them. In the name of Jesus, let them be open now. Amen. There's someone, you are a gentleman. You are not able to ease yourself. It looks like some, um, maybe some urinogenital problem. I don't know what it is, but you are not able to ease yourself. Excruciating pain. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus, right now, this moment, I decree and declare, healing comes for you now. Amen. Peptic ulcer, be healed now. Amen. Back pain, be healed now. Amen. There's someone, you came with severe pain around your kneecap. That pain is living now. That pain is living now. The Lord is showing me a healing happening for someone around your molar. Severe pain. It looks like it looks to you because of the pain like perhaps there may be some hole or some cavity problem. May the Lord bring you a miracle now. Make sure you keep believing. The Lord is showing me someone's mother. I'm seeing her just sit on a chair. She's not able to use her right leg. I'm seeing a crutch. In the name of Jesus, wherever mama is, whether she's here on ground or following from across the globe, in the name of Jesus, healing comes now. Healing comes now. There's someone, I think your elder, your elder sister, is having her lip swell like it's becoming twice the size of the normal human lip 
this thing you see I'm not a doctor but based on what God is showing me is cancer forming in the name of Jesus Christ I pray by the power that raised Christ from the dead the way it came let it go back I say it again the way it came let it go back there is a in fact two people I'm seeing you have a very severe I don't know what the medical name is what they call nose bleeding you can stand and just begin to bleed significant portions of blood coming through your nose in the name of Jesus I'm praying for you now whatever the medical condition is be healed now I'm seeing a gentleman you are here you are SS that sickle cell when this crisis starts for you it's almost as if you are gasping for breath to lose your life in the name of Jesus I don't know where that gentleman is but by the power that raised Christ from the dead may that crisis come to an end now I need to pray for someone you sprained your leg but with what I'm seeing is beyond a sprain on your leg because you are not able to stand straight it looks like there are pins that are choking your leg like pins this thing I need to pray for you there is something wrong with your veins and your arteries in the name of Jesus Christ may my God who is healer bring healing right now bring healing right now for someone you are not sick per se but you are not able to sleep in the night once people go to bed you just lie down and you keep rolling left and right and sleep almost never comes to a point that you are already getting I'm seeing you take a white pill something that was given to you in the hospital and it's almost becoming an addiction you are taking it and yet it is not working in the name of Jesus may my God who is also your God bring you healing right now Again, the Lord is showing me a woman just like I shared the vision earlier. You take in, but then you have a dream and all kinds of things happen in that dream. Soon after that dream, you will lose this pregnancy. This thing has happened over six or seven times. In the name of Jesus, the power of God is coming on you now. Help that lady. In the name of Jesus Christ. I sing praises to your name. Oh God, praises to your name. Oh God, for your name is great and greatly to be praised. Someone you are having, I want to pray for you. You may think it's a joke, but I think a doctor warned you that you are having a heart problem that if you are not careful you're going to have a, a heart attack and it can affect you in your sleep you got angry at the doctor the doctor did not lie I need to pray for you because I'm seeing a situation where I'm not a medical doctor forgive me but I'm seeing that your heart is not pumping blood well and a situation where you know how like a car that loses fuel you know how it keeps jacking and stops this is what I'm seeing Prophetic things are very funny. Sometimes God uses other images to show you what he's, he's showing you. I'm seeing like a car. You know how fuel is over and it's gasping and stops. And this is what I see of that person. And then he doesn't wake up again. In the name of Jesus. Anyone having a heart problem, whether you know it or not. Of course, you should always be responsible. I've taught you this. But in the name of Jesus right now. I'm praying for you. Whatever wants to kill you. Using heart attack or heart failure breathing problems in fact be healed now the Lord is showing me someone you even came here with your inhaler you are an asthmatic patient when this thing starts on you it's almost as if you literally feel life passing out of you and this thing has punished you again and again I'm praying for that person you came here literally with your inhaler in the name of Jesus wherever you are may the power of God rest upon you right now rest upon you right now in the name of Jesus Christ 
there is a woman here your concern is not even you your concern is your child that you came with your child is already manifesting autistic tendencies and yet you gave birth to a healthy child this has been a serious problem for you not only is the child hyperactive is becoming clear that is like the brain, the mind is not properly coordinated. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the God of mercy right now, wherever you are across this auditorium, alongside that precious child, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bring healing for that person now. My God, mighty miracles are happening here. Someone you came here, you couldn't move your legs well. In the name of Jesus, I want you to begin to move your legs now. A supernatural miracle is happening to you right where you are. Now, there's someone, you don't have a lump, but when you lie down with the left side, your chest area, you're a lady. It's not like it's a lump, but the pain is excruciating. The power of God is touching you right now. Healing is coming right now. Healing is coming right now. Healing is coming right now. I'm seeing a woman here. You don't see in the night. Because of this thing, you don't drive in the night. Your eyes seem fine, but in the night, especially once it's hazy, you literally can go and stumble across maybe a, a, a door or something like that. I'm praying for you. You will know that you are healed this night because right from where you are, you will see your perfect vision wherever you are. Be healed now. In the name of Jesus. Now, whether I mention your case or not, in the name of Jesus, and for those of you who are lifting up photos or through your phones or whatever means, I'm seeing you whether inside, outside, Jesus is seeing you more importantly. I stretch my hands in agreement with you that those photos representing these people you are lifting, in the name of Jesus, may my God give them a miracle now. 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 In the name of Jesus. Now here's what I want you to do. We're only going to dedicate five minutes for this. Hallelujah. I want everybody to keep standing. I'm going to ask you to check yourself. Even if it's at the time where I was praying and you fell under the anointing, the moment you find out that there is a miracle, it's important that we give people a few minutes to testify because from here I want to get into prophetic declarations. I really want something to rest on your head. In the name of Jesus Christ, I want a prophetic word to rest upon your head that you must return with a testimony from. But very quickly, the hand of God has touched you or touched your loved ones, or those of you online, a miracle has happened to you, send in your testimony now. Now I'm going to give those outside all the overflows, the moment you check yourself as you're doing now, you see that there is a miracle, very quickly come out, you can come to my left or to my right very quickly, and a few officials will take your testimony, I'm seeing people coming out, let's celebrate them as they come, in the name of Jesus Christ. And those who are coming from any overflow, if it's for testimony, please, protocol ushers, allow them very quickly. And let's have them come out. Don't sit back. A miracle has happened to you. Check yourself. Are you celebrating miracles? People are coming out now. Those outside, very quickly, let's shame the devil. Let, let's experience, let's enjoy the atmosphere of his presence within a few minutes and then I speak over your life. Now, while they are coming out, are you celebrating miracles, my God? Look what Jesus is doing tonight. Outside, clear the way for them as they come. Mighty miracles by the Spirit. How many of you have written your prayer requests? Very quickly, let me see your hands. How many of you are yet to write your prayer requests? Okay, very quickly, while we are doing that, please bring out your paper, those online, if you are yet to send your prayer request, this is a Bible-believing ministry and there is a God that answers prayer. Hallelujah. When we come like this by the instruction of the Lord, we agree by faith, laying hands on your request 
and believing the Lord, the God of all grace, to move mightily. So very quickly, if you have written your prayer request, I want you to pass it to the last person by your left or right. Don't worry, no one reads your request. It's between you and God. So just pass it very quickly to make the work easy for the ushers. Please, ushers, make sure you go outside. Make sure everyone's request is here. And let's make that happen on time. So when it's time to pray, we have that quickly. But we're taking a few testifiers now. There are people who have been touched by the hand of God. And I want you to listen for these testimonies. When we take testimonies like this, it is because we want to acknowledge. It's our way of saying thank you, Jesus, that we are grateful for the performance of his word in our lives. Yes, sir. Please go ahead. Sorry, sir. All right. Please. Go ahead. Praise God. I've not been hearing properly on this ear for several months. And for, this for several, but during the prayers, my ears are open. I can hear completely. Everything. You are able to hear. How long for this? This has been like for two, three months now. And then? Some weeks. In the name of Jesus, this miracle that has happened to you remains permanent by the mighty hand of God. Amen. Let's give Jesus praise. Yes, sir. Next person very quickly. Medical team, please. Let's walk very quickly so that um, we can have the testifiers come very quickly. This is what Jesus is doing. For some man of God, while you are watching, you are not just watching testimonies. You are seeing what will start happening in your ministry from this night. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Uh, yesterday when I returned back home, I was having an excruciating pain in my back. So it's, I've never had that kind of pain before. And I couldn't sleep throughout the night. But when then our father, the God's servant, was ministering, he mentioned the issue of back pain. If I checked myself, the, I couldn't see the pain. So as I was now, when he now said we should come out for the testimony, as I was coming out for the testimony, the pain went, uh, left me totally. Completely. To the extent that yesterday, uh, this morning while I was going to church, I could not bend down to... Bend down now. Bend down to wear my shoe. And right now, any pain? No pain. It's gone forever. forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, we give Jesus praise. It will never return to you again. Let's celebrate Jesus. Yes, please. Go ahead. Um, I'm short-sighted and I'm literally like sitting at the back. But You're short-sighted? Yes. How long has this been? Like since last year, late last year. Okay. But I can see clearly. Like okay. even normally before, if I was standing here, there's definitely no way I can see you like clearly. If you were standing here, you would not be able to see me. Not clearly. And right now? I can see you. Clearly? Yes. How many? Five. Five. Two. One. Two. Five. Give Jesus praise. It will never return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, please. Yes, sir. Praise God. I, I, have, I got an accident about three weeks past now. And when you I had an accident? Yes, three weeks back. Okay. Now, with the, my left leg, uh, right leg. When you have mentioned that somebody with a light, uh, red leg who hasn't a problem, they cannot move, then I started to move. You said we should move. I started to move my What leg. couldn't you do before? So I could not move like this. My friend, look yes. at me. Run. In the name of Jesus Christ. It will never return to you again. Amen. And I pray that that accident, as I'm praying for him, I'm praying for someone. Amen. You have no business with accident. Amen. May my God protect you and protect your loved ones. Amen. In Jesus' name. God bless you. It is well with you. Yes, please. Amen. So, Apostle, Mama here came actually, she said she came to this service with swollen feet. Yes. But what my, happened to you? My name is Okachung. I came with her. I came to service with swollen legs because I was having severe, severe pains on my waist. How so long has I that came, been? That it has started for two, three years now. I've been suffering on it. Yes. So as I came, I even I couldn't raise my knees to climb upstairs. I just, by the grace of God, I entered auditorium. So as we are praying now, every prayer is lies on me, both heart to both chest, everything. Walk Hit now. Me. Walk now. Any pain? Come on, Koinonia. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Swollen feet. Gone. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. It will never return to you again by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I receive. Amen and amen. I yes. receive. Go ahead. 
Apostle, this is a lump of many testimony. You gave word of knowledge of people with severe chest pain, back pain, yes. and nail pain. All of them, about four of them, they are healed by the power of four God. Four of them. Yes, sir. The pain is gone. Yes. I stretch my hands over you. Sorry, because of time, we're not able to give individuals. So we just group like that. I, I hope she couldn't raise her leg before. Who is that? Now. Let she me give her the mic. Praise the Lord. I came to church with severe back pain. My brother had to press my back two days ago. When he said, back pain is gone, I placed my hand there. And I just turned and discovered it was gone. And I sat down because of the new pain. And he said, you are having new pain. Stand up and it's gone. I stood up and to the glory of God, that new pain is done. Gone I, forever. I had to tie the leg to sleep last night. It is gone. I can squat. Praise and Jesus. Let's give Jesus praise. For you and all who are in that category, I stretch my hands. Let the power of God rest upon you. You are healed now. Your healing remains permanent. In Jesus' name we pray. Let's celebrate them as they return to their seats rejoicing. Yes, please. Apostle, immediately you came you gave word of knowledge of those who could not use their hand. Our their hand, hands, yes. Praise the Lord. I came in for months. I've been having pains here. This is how far I can raise my hand. But now when you were talking, I... Go ahead. Let the devil see it. That is the hand you will use to praise Jesus. Any pain. Gone completely. Any destiny that has refused to rise. Because you see, miracles like this are prophetic messages. Are we together? I'm praying for you. The same God who can cause a hand who could not live to stretch. May your destiny answer on that wise. May your destiny answer on that wise. For some of you, before the last koinonia service, I'm prophesying to you, whatever has not been done from January till now, may my God do a quick walk in your life. A quick walk in your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Okay. You gave word of knowledge of a lady with a pain in the breast. There's no love, but he said every time she sleeps and wakes up, she finds her chest, the left side of her breast, pain in her. Yes. But now she's been healed by the power of God. Completely healed. How long has this been? For about a week now. In the name of Jesus. Amen. That devil, the way it came, may it go back to hell. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yes, please. Pastor Jakes, go ahead. Yes, sir. All right. Let's go. Hallelujah. Uh, a month ago, a stone fell on my leg. While stone? Walking, yes, while walking the site. And someone mashed the leg. So from that day, my vein started having issue. I went to the hospital, they treated it, and the vein was still having issue, as if I, I was feeling like nails under my leg. Yes. So Apostle made mention of the case. He said there is a guy here that uh, it's as if there are nails under your leg. What happened now? Straight to so the point. The veins are, the veins, it's as if the veins are, are rotting. So when Apostle pray over the leg, Immediately, I, I could start moving the leg, and blood started coming out from this, the, 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 the wound. Pause. So blood. So just oh, blood started blood. coming yes. out. So he couldn't move his, yes. you know, his feet before, but after the prayers, he could. Move My friend, so. move now. Are you seeing a miracle that has happened? My God, you can even see that he could not wear a cover shoe. Lay your hands there. In the name of Jesus, I declare perfection for you right now. Amen. It will never return again. Amen. In Jesus' name, God bless you. Let's celebrate him. Next person, very quickly. So, Apostle, you also give a word of knowledge for someone who actually pain his arm? Yes, sir. So, yeah, I came here with this pain on my hand. It, it has been there for like two years. I've tried all I could medically. They said nothing is wrong with me. And then I've been in this pain. But then when the case was mentioned, I felt somehow like, could this be for me? I started sweating all of a sudden. I trying to move the hand. I just realized that it's like this hand is short. This one is longer than this one. Until I notice all the pain is gone. And right now, lift both of them. Again, lift both of them. Again, 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 again. In the name of Jesus Christ. This miracle remains permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you. Please, very quickly. All right, so we have a very interesting testimony here. Yes, please. I, since the beginning of this year, I've been having chest pain. I can hardly breathe. Most times I can't yawn. I can't shout. My chest tights in as if I want to just, I don't know, give yes. up. So when you started counting that we should shout Jesus, you counted the first time. And when I was sitting down, I could not yawn because I was having flu. It was so bad. 
Then you started counting Jesus. One, two, three. I started shouting. I kept shouting and I'm still shouting. I'm still shouting. I'm still shouting. And that, that pain is not there. Yes. Break in and out. Break in and out. The power of God in the name of Jesus. Right now, I sense an anointing coming on you. I declare perfection. That pain, wherever it is and whatever is the cause, it leaves you never to return again. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Next person, please. Very quickly. Praise the Lord. Um, I've been My God, there's so many pain. miracles. Sometimes I feel so guilty. For three years now. Um, like, hold on just a moment. Um, please, let me say this. We don't downplay testimonies in this house. Every manifestation of God's power is worth recognizing. Are we together? So when we have to stop people on the way, you know that a standard miracle service will take hours because it takes hours to even celebrate what God is doing. Hallelujah. So when you see us halt sometimes, I feel sad, but then we have to do that so that we can regulate time. I'm saying that particularly for those who have taken the courage to come and stand. You are always at liberty, even beyond today, to register your testimony, share them online. We don't downplay miracles. And for those of you who probably have testimonies and do not want to share, whether you have some phobia or whatever it is, let me tell you, sharing your testimony is good for you and is good for the saints. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Don't keep silent the manifestations of God in your hand or in your life. You allow for continuity when that happens. And if you refuse to testify, sometimes you open up doors for a reprisal from the enemy again. This is true. Hallelujah. Yes, go ahead, sir. I actually have chest pain for a long time now. Yes. So when you were praying outside, like, I can't scream for long, like, I can't shout for long. So and when now, you're screaming, I'm fine now, like, completely. feeling okay, yeah, I can scream. In the name like, of Jesus. I was screaming outside, I was holding my chair, but now... But right feel, now it's gone. Yeah, that heaviness okay returns now. back to the devil. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Let's celebrate God for his life. Next person, very quickly. Praise the Lord. I was having a serious and a severe hemorrhoid, pie, for quite some time. Over about pile? Time. Yes, for about 15 years or so. Oh dear. Uh, yesterday I couldn't sleep because of the pain after I, I, I came out from the toilet. And what happened now? And now the pain has, I'm not feeling anything. Completely? Completely. I'm, 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 I was I was booked for for a surgery about three times. Even today, I was I went to the hospital. They booked me for surgery again Saturday to meet with the surgeon, and I declined. I came to the church. I go to the medical section. I have I've seen the doctor. I explained to him. I show him the picture, and I key into the prayer. I was at the back outside there. I was praying, and when he, he asked us to to shout and jump. I came to the faith, and now the pain has disappeared. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare what the Lord has done in your life. Let it remain permanent in Jesus' name. God bless you very quickly. Yes, sir. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. This is almost getting to three weeks now. I have not been hearing where from this my left ear. So when I come, I, I still believe in God that God will heal me today. So when our Apostle was praying, yes. I fell under anointing up there. So you fell on that. Where were you? Up there. Up okay. There. And what there. happened now? So when I when I when I wake up, we started praying again. When I pray, then I when when you say we should check ourselves, my neighbor was not talking to me. I started. I said, ah, what is going on? I said, sir, please, can you speak again? And when you talk, I started hearing very clearly. Completely, in the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please, very quickly. Okay, Apostle, we have uh, here a case of facial palsy. Facial palsy. Yes, sir. Please. Since, since 2019, I, I, middle of 2019, I had an experience, and after that, this left side of my face has been paralyzed since then. It's I've been, been paralyzed? The, yes, sir. I've You've been, seen the doctor on it? Yes, sir. I've okay. been undergoing physiotherapy on and off since then. Mm -hmm. Even this year, I was undergoing physio. In fact, just when I came to church this morning, I was telling the friend I'm sitting with about the experience, and she and someone else, and she was laughing at me. And at some point, I stopped telling her about it. But when I came, I was actually believing God for my mom's healing. So when you were praying, I, I felt some level of relief. Although I still feel the pool, but it's not severe. 
Place your hand there. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare the God of heaven who has started this miracle, that facial palsy, whatever it is called, in Jesus' name you will give way right now. We release you and we declare perfection for this miracle. In Jesus' name I pray. Let's give Jesus praise for her miracle. Yes, please. So, Apostle, we have a similar case. Three of them, um, they were all healed of toothache. Toothache? Yes, sir. That's all right. I will, I will, will just pray huh, for time. In the name of Jesus, I lay my hands upon you and I declare perfection. Perfection. Every cavity problem comes under arrest. It's gone never to return again. In Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, sir. Um, praise the Lord. For over five years, I've been having this new pain that whenever I bend down, it feels like there are pains inside, just like Apostle said. But just after the prayers, I knelt down with faith and I cannot feel it again. It's gone completely. Yes, it is gone. In the name of Jesus, it will never return again. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take two or three more people quickly there. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Since like two months, anytime I do a little walk or I did a little a little walk or a little trek, I will be having a pain on my knee. So to, to even today, I, I, I started to work, I, I started feeling the pain. But when I first started declaring, the pain was gone. Absolutely Completely. Gone. You see, once you see repeated cases of certain miracles, there is a message that is connected there. That means every stagnation and everything that has incapacitated your movement. The same way God is healing limbs and healing knees, I decree and declare prophetically, go forward. I'm saying it to someone who is serious. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In the name of Jesus, go forward. In one week, may you take the leap of one year. In one week, may you take the leap of one year. Yes, please. Please sit down. All right, yes, sir. sir. So they've all been healed of their kneecaps. They all had pain. In their kneecaps. You had a problem with your kneecap? Yeah, praise the Lord. Like over two months ago, I strained my nail. I fell into a dish when I was coming back from church. And since that time, I cannot stretch the leg. Or if I sit for a while, I, can't, I have to massage the leg before I move again. And now? Now I can stretch the leg. In the name of Jesus. Leg. It will never, never return. I lay my hands upon you and I declare healing. Amen. Let's have two or three here. Severe pain in the eye. He had to even get an eyeglass. So when he came in, he removed the eyeglass. Immediately you climb around. He said yes. for over one hour now. He says, for over it's one hour. It's been normal. Yes, sir. How long has this been? It's more than a year now. In the name of Jesus. As it's happened spiritually and physically, may your vision be cleared. Amen. In Jesus' name, congratulations. Next person. Apostle, she wrote some prayer points, and immediately you came up, it's like you were just reciting what she wrote down. Number one prayer points that she, she wrote here that God should visit her nation, and she should come in there. And then you mentioned serpentine spirit and also spirit of death. She said she has been seeing her sister dying in the dream. So when fighting snakes, also in the dream, but when you ministered, God visited her. In the name of Jesus, my dear. The Lord perfects you, perfects your family. In Jesus' name, I pray. God Severe pain in the ears, gone. Do you know, I prayed for somebody who was slapped in the dream and he woke up physically with that side of the ear, death, completely. Say witchcraft. From the dream, not physically. And he, he woke up with it physically. That's to tell you how real the realm of the spirit is. I'm praying for someone. I don't know what started from the realm of the spirit that you are struggling to fight physically. The same way it started from the realm of the spirit, we end it from the realm of the spirit. I say it again, the same way it started from the realm of the spirit, we end it in the realm of the spirit. My sister, I decree and declare you are perfected right now in Jesus' name. Let's have one last Pain testimony. Pain in her there. right hand. Now Look. she could wave yes. the hand now. Right hand and her back. I have this pain from my back. Yes. So I literally feel the pains through my veins. Yes. But right now when you came and said um, right hand pains and all that. So it's completely gone. Gone. In the name of Jesus, anymore. it will never return to you again. Amen. Let's have two or three people. And then please let me request by next week while we are testifying 
if possible let's give priority to one or two of these people because they have labored it it takes a lot of courage to come and stand and since they have stood for sake of time we may not be able to take all of them but please be our and and um, please be at liberty my dear people for those of you who may not be able to testify be very comfortable to register your testimony with the media and the public relations department so that we we'll allow you among those who testify here we want to know what jesus has done unfortunately we have to work with time but please i want you to feel free be very courageous to come and testify but let's see apostles there are several testimony online on those which issue of online. press cases yes from canada kenya online in the name of jesus christ we pray for you by the power that raised christ from the dead we are agreeing right from here that for everyone maybe you read one Okay. as a witness and then we'll pray for the rest yes all right sir. apostle we have a strategic one from ruth all the way from kenya ruth from she, kenya she received healing from her left breast and she had an encounter with god mightily as you prophesied and then we have so many testimonies of healing of kneecaps and several breast pain related issues all the way from cameroon as you prophesied in the so. name of jesus christ we decree and declare we use ruth as a point of contact to all our global family those who have been healed online we decree and declare just like we said distance is no barrier your miracles remain permanent in jesus mighty and matchless name we pray amen and amen yes sir so sir let every man abide in his calling i'll call the doctor to, to do okay so you go ahead okay apostle she came into the service with severe breast pain though she had breast lumps in her two breasts four years ago yes and she had lumpectomy done but after the surgery the lumps came back to the two breasts so she has been battling with this situation but when you gave the word of prophecy she yes. believed and then she felt something left her no more pain we've palpated that there is no single trace of lumps she's completely are you giving jesus praise no single trace father we decree and declare you see, that is a prophetic message about productivity. In the name of Jesus, Amen. the restoration God has brought for you, my dear, it remains permanent. Amen. And I'm praying for someone, you may not have a physical problem, but whatever is affecting the factors that are responsible for your productivity, in Jesus' name, we release you right now to be productive. We release you right now to be productive. God bless you, my dear. Congratulations. Please return to your seat rejoicing. Yes, please. Since on Friday, I couldn't urinate. You couldn't urinate? I couldn't go to the toilet. I couldn't sleep. My stomach was bloated. They told me to take just tea, to take just corn, to take cucumber. I took everything I could take. There was nothing working, but after you prophesied upon sickness of all sorts of names, I could urinate and I saw a drop of blood when I went to the toilet. Just a drop. It's not menses, but just a drop and it stopped. In the name of Jesus, we declare this perfection in your body, it remains forever. Amen. We release you right now Amen. in Jesus' name. Let's celebrate Jesus for her. Can we have two more testimonies? I've had quail for years. It's been very difficult using the toilet. And then sometimes the growth is just so, so painful. And then when you mentioned it, I just went back and I tried and I've searched and I, I couldn't find it again. And the pain, everything. The pain is gone. gone. Yes. Give Jesus praise. And I'm also thanking God because I know when you mentioned glaucoma, I know that my mom is healed and I know she'll come and take Where is she? She's here in Abuja. We agree for her in the name of Jesus that the God who has healed you from pile. May he heal your mom from every eye condition in Jesus' name. God bless you. Yes, please. Praise God, Koinonia. I want to thank God for healing. When, we, when Daddy was in the way, Daddy was declared about uh, people that they cannot feel rest their hand. So, and I rest my, say, we, we should rest our hand. I rest my hand. When we are in the prayer t uh, department this evening, I cannot rest. This my here from here and this year I cannot rest. So when where you declare everything has gone, I follow that anointing. Everything has gone completely. Like I, yes, I in the rest. name of Jesus, Amen. it will never return to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. God bless you. Yes. Okay, sir. With your permission. Go ahead. Daddy, these are testimonies from those following online. 
Um, this is from Sister Shion Fumi. She says, while you were ministering, you prophesied about somebody who could not lie down on her side because there was always pain on the breast and there was lump. I immediately lied down on my left side and no pain on my breast again. Amen. Another... That's, all, that's all right, Kenny. We have to take a break on that. We've already prayed for online people. Now, for all of you who are here standing, in the name of Jesus, just make contact with your chest. Let me speak to you, all of you who are here. And then if there are many others outside who were not allowed in, our apologies. Do well to register your testimony. I stretch my hands over all of you who have been healed. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, these miracles remain permanent. And for those who have been healed online, sadly, and could not testify, in the name of Jesus, I declare as I'm praying for them, I pray for those who are standing and all who are at the medical stand, maybe verifying their cases. In Jesus' name, your healings remain permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's celebrate them as they return to their seats. Now, may I request all of us, can we stand and stretch our hands to the frontier where our request? Is there anyone yet to submit his or her request? Let me see your hands. If you're yet to submit your request, please, a PR ushers, let's make that quickly. Those outside, I'm hoping that their requests are here too. Those online, if you've sent in your request, connect by faith, believing. And in case you, you, you couldn't send it, don't worry right where you are. Just believe by faith. Stretch your hands, please. This is not a ritual. Don't get too familiar. This is the power of God at work. Someone is declaring, every Egyptian that I see today, I see no more forever. Are you praying? Take a minute or two. Go ahead and speak. Speak by faith. Declare by faith that in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, Go ahead, bring them. We ask people to bring their prayer requests like this because we believe in the God that heals. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God. Someone pray, declare by the Spirit of God. Mante pratica baracos catafredegebeleketa. Unto him that answers prayer shall all flesh come. In the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God. Saprate caparacatos catesh. Embreteke paras. Stanabalata casha pratega baracatos at the village. Ebrecatebecate prantega baracos catafredegebeleketa. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I decree and declare, I'm going to pray and then I will request, I mean, thankfully he just came. I just sensed in my heart to do it. Now I'm going to ask um, Reverend Raul Wafo when I'm praying, he's going to pray in French and just prophesy to all the French speaking nations that are connected to us, hallelujah. We're standing in faith. I just want him to speak and make that prophetic declaration. Um, I'll be with them in Cote d'Ivoire, I think next month, and it's going to be an awesome time. So all of you who are within those, those areas, make sure you connect, and um, it's going to be an awesome time. I was very humbled last when I was there that in a nation that some of them literally don't speak English, but they've been able to learn all kinds of songs in English and every other language, I mean, some, some of them sing Koinonia songs better than you. And um, uh, it's amazing how you are able to preach. And some of them honestly do not understand you, but thanks to the interpreter, and it was such a glorious time, it was such an outpouring. And I believe that God is doing something, not just in East Africa, but I mean, sweeping across the French-speaking nations. And we know that revival is for them too. Hallelujah. So stretch your hands as I speak over and then I invite him to just come and make these declarations. In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands by the power that raised Christ from the dead. Father, you have anointed and instructed us, given us grace to speak and declare over these requests. I declare that every request here written, let it be turned to your testimony. Shout a louder amen. Shout a believing amen. amen. The same way you are shouting now, that is how you will shout in shock at the miracle that God will perform in the name of Jesus Christ. 
I'm prophesying to someone in the name of Jesus that as a sign that God has visited you before you reach home between now the end of this service and the time you reach home may my God do something among your list that will surprise you and therefore I pray over every one of these requests in the name of Jesus Christ the Son of the Living God and in the name of the Father Son and the Holy Spirit these requests are declared I declare that they are turned to your testimony I declare that they are turned to your testimony every human agent who must come under divine alignment to make this happen in the name of Jesus I'm praying that the Lord will send them the Lord will put your issue in their heart and it will cause them to respond favorably in the name of Jesus Christ and as always I stand upon this request prophetically and I declare that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever in the name of Jesus Christ please let's welcome Reverend Raul and whether you can speak French or not if you cannot speak French connect by faith they've been connecting for us by faith now is your turn and then if you understand French shout amen on our behalf while he's speaking our little children will all shout amen that's why you see they've all learned French but a lot of elderly people and adults here sorry for you your generation has passed and um, yes sir please go ahead par au nom si premier de Jésus je veux te rendre grâce pour toutes les nations francophones merci pour ce canal de foi et la parole relâchée sur cet hôtel qui a un impact sur toutes les nations francophones et sur tous les peuples au nom si premier de Jésus de la France à la Belgique au Cameroun au Togo au Bénin au Tchad au Burkina Faso au Sénégal au Mali En Guinée équatoriale, je décrète, déclare, établi la manifestation de tes pouvoirs souverains. Merci pour ton action surnaturelle. Les divers miracles s'accomplissent par le nom suprême de Jésus. Nous voulons te rendre grâce pour ta parole. Au Jésus qui continue de grandir et prévaloir. Merci pour ce ministère qui impacte encore davantage les nations francophones. Porte ta gloire afin que Jésus soit célébré et glorifié. Merci pour les guérisons, la délivrance, la restauration, les rétablissements, la manifestation de ton règne. Au nom si premier de Jésus, quelqu'un dise Amen trois fois. Amen, Amen, Amen. Amen. Let's give me a big hand clap. Amen. Are you ready to receive my own? Whether you can't speak English, whether you can't speak French, some of you I'm speaking to you, sometimes I'm speaking to spirits. In any case, there must be a hearing. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, every door that has been closed over your life, I decree now that door is hereby opened. 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 Open. Number two. Everyone here trusting God for a job. May the God that settles men between now and next miracle service, may God settle you gloriously. Settle you gloriously. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I'm praying everyone who has been incapacitated economically, something has brought you down financially. May the God of all grace, the one who empowers men to prosper, may he empower you tonight in Jesus' name. Everyone holding what belongs to you, I prophesy in Jesus' name, by the force of faith, may it return to you. By the force of faith, may it return to you. I don't know where the helper of your destiny is, but in the name of Jesus, some of you, maybe your helper is even here in Koinonia as I'm speaking. In the name of Jesus, I connect them to you. And I connect you to them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, ladies and gentlemen, we are in a season where God is beautifying the destinies of the saints. 
and I pray for someone here, every embargo of shame and reproach that is making men ask you where your God is from tonight, may your results begin to answer. From tonight, may your results begin to answer. If the mark of death is on anyone here, whether by flight, whether by accident, whether by kidnappers, assassins, it doesn't matter in what form or fashion. I'm praying by the power of the Holy Spirit, minus you. Minus you for death. Minus you for tragedy. In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, by the way, I just remembered, I think someone had sent me a mail. I, I returned from a trip and I read the mail. Students of University of Abuja, you know, was requesting for, you know, if they can be assisted, maybe some bus service for them. I just want you to know that I read that mail and we'll see what we can do about it. I needed to say this. Yes. I just, I just remember that someone, I can't remember the name, but the person made that, that um, these people are students and, and it's only fair that we see what we're able to do. And, and if the person is here, thank you for your advocacy on behalf of the other people. We'll see what we're able to do. Hallelujah. I sense in my spirit to speak prophetically over any of your loved one who is on their way to hell because they have not received Jesus. Wherever they are, whether your father, your mother, like promise said while he was leading us to pray, if there is any of your loved one who has refused, maybe idol worship or whatever, and they have refused that they will not make it right with God, may the God of salvation visit them. We schedule encounters for them in the name of Jesus. Three more prayers and I want you to receive. I want you to lift your hands. I'm praying for you. Every anointing that must rest on your hand and cause you to go forward and to advance before the end of this year. As you are lifting those hands, I place that grace upon your hand. I place that grace upon your hand. I place that grace upon your hand. Go and succeed with the works of your hands. In the name of Jesus. Finally, I don't know who has lost anything in your life. You've lost relationships. You've lost opportunities. You've lost money. You've lost maybe doors, whatever it is. You've lost various parts of your body. I'm praying for you right now. In the name that is above all names, may the God who restores, who can restore years and can restore things, may my God restore you. May my God restore you. May my God restore you. In the name of Jesus Christ, it will be clear from your life that it pays to serve Jesus. I say it again. It will be clear from your life oh, that it pays to serve Jesus. It will be clear from your life that it pays to love Jesus. That it pays to live for Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, we pray for our nation. I don't know how God will do it all. Nigeria, we may not see wind. We may not see rain. But we call upon the God of all mercy. May he step in mightily. Visit our economy. Strengthen the government. Strengthen the members of Senate. By all means, may Nigeria move forward. And I lend my voice with the law enforcement agents to decree and declare those who have enjoyed crime as an industry, whether as kidnapping, whether as uh, um, one chance, whether as whatever we call it, this week, may this be the week of vengeance. Agree with me, this week, may this be the week of vengeance. I don't destroy you, but if some of these people don't repent, may they sleep and not wake up. In the name of Jesus Christ. And because you have come here tonight, the souvenir that God has prepared for you, you carry it by faith on your way home. 
you carry it by faith on your way home. You carry it by faith on your way home. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm going to ask you to run to Jesus right now. If you are yet to make him Lord of your life, our time is fast spent. You are here right now. I'm giving you just one minute. You are saying, Apostle, I do not want to return back home without making a first-time decision for someone or for another person you are saying, I need to renew and rededicate my relationship. In the name of Jesus, it matters that we are concerned about your spiritual growth and you're encountering the Savior. Wherever you are, in one minute, I'm going to ask you to leave your seat and run. Come and stand here. You have seen the power of God. You've seen what God can do. Let's celebrate them as they come. Rise up right from where you are and make your way to the front. Jesus is calling you. Koinonia, celebrate them. Thank you for coming. You can pick your bags, your Bibles, everything you came to church with. Is this the best you can do, Koinonia? Let's celebrate salvation. Come. Come. All the overflows, please make your way to your stand. And those who are here, you are making Jesus Lord of your life. This call is for those who are coming to Jesus. You want Jesus to be your Lord and Savior from tonight. You are saying, I'm tired of my way of living. I'm tired of my life. I want a chance to make it right with Jesus. God bless you. Please come. Please come. Please come. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son and give him the glory, great things he hath done. Come. God bless you. If you're coming, come quickly. Oh, come to the Father through Jesus the Son. Hallelujah. Um, I want to say a very big thank you to all of you who have made this decision. It is a noble decision to come to Jesus. I want you to lay your hand on your chest as a sign of surrender. Say this after me as loud and as clear as you can. Say, Lord Jesus, I love you with all my heart. I believe that you are the Son of God. I believe that you died for my sin right now. I declare that you are my Savior, you are my Lord, and you are my King. I declare that the power of sin, Satan, hell, and the grave is broken over my life. From tonight and forever, I declare that I'm a child of God. Let me pray for you. Father, thank you for these blessed people. They have come to you, the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, making declarations of faith in total surrender. I pray based on the authority of God's word that your sins indeed are forgiven and the power to live a victorious Christian life is released upon you from tonight. You walk out of this place, the righteousness of God, going forward ever and backward never. I decree and declare, receive grace to live the victorious Christian life. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Now please, I want you to follow the counselors. They are waving the placard. All of you in concert. They will have a word with you just for a few minutes and then you'll be back. Let's celebrate them as they go. Thank you. Thank you.